Assalamu alaikum. My name is Moaz Ahmed. In this video, we will be discussing the lab level of DLD. This lab is all about the implementation of circuits of D flip flop and JK flip flop circuits. So, in this lab, we will be building four different flip flop circuits, which include D type flip flop, D type flip flop, JK flip flop, master slave flip flop, and the last one is SR flip flop. So, the first one that we are going to do follow is D flip flop circuit. So, this is the fifth table of D flip flop circuit. And if I go to my protest simulation, which is right here, and I can see that we have one input which is given using the logic toggle, and we have two outputs which are given using the logic props and we have a total of four NAND gates these four and one NOT gate which will be used to inverse the value of D and we have a clock right here now if we close this file and run again the clock will cause problems that's why every time when we want to run the simulation after reopening the file we will implement the clock again so i will change this value to zero and i will run the simulation so see there is the error that is showing right here for the clock so i will delete the clock from here and i will again implement the clock here so that we can run the simulation successfully and I will connect it here and now if I run the simulation again we can see that now it's working so we know that if D is 0 let me open my circuit so we can see here that if D is 0 then Q0 will be 1 and Q will be 0 so that's exactly what's happening right here q is 0 and q naught is 1 so if i change the value of d to 1 then q is 1 but q naught is now 0 so which is exactly the case here if d is 1 then q is 1 and q naught is 0 so that's it from the d flip flop circuit now let's move on to the next circuit which is JK flip flop. Now, JK flip flop circuits truth table is given right here. So, this is the JK flip flop truth table, and we have three inputs E, G, and K, and two outputs Q and Q bar. Now, if I open the Proteus file right here, I can see that in this circuit we have two inputs that are given using the logic toggles and we have three two outputs which are given right here as by using the logic props and we have the clock value and total of four NAND gates so let's run the simulation so simulation is working fine now we know that if k is 0 and j is 1 and this is enable so enable is 0 and let me open the truth table right here and see uh, in all of the truth table values we have e is equal to 1 so I will change it to 1 and we know we can see here that if e is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 but k is equal to 0 so this it is the, the case right here this one and we can see that q is equal to 1 but q bar is not equal to 1 instead it is equal to 0 so it's working now let's try some other case and if i change the k to 1 and change the j to 0 now in this case we can see here that only the others 
only the one is on but the other one is completely off but in the first scenario it was blinking so that is from the gk flip flop circuit now let's move on to our third circuit which is let me grab the charger mm -hmm. okay. we are good for now so let's move on to our third circuit which is master slave deep flip flop circuit now we can see here that in this circuit we have given two inputs D and D bar and D bar is basically the inverse of D which will be given using the NOT gate right here so in this complete circuit we are giving the input using the clock and using the logic toggle and we are taking the output using the logic props right here at Q and Q bar and we are using a total of 8 NAND gates and 2 NOT gates so if I run the simulation for this circuit so let me run the simulation now it is showing me the same error that we have discussed earlier for the clock so I will again replace the clock again and I will take the clock and put it right here and I will connect it and now again I will run the simulation and we can see here that D is 0 which implements that if D is 0 then D naught will give us 1 which is the opposite of 0 and add in output we have the Q bar is equal to 1 but now Q is equal to 0 but if I change the value of D to 1 then D1 D is equal to 1 is given to this NAND gate through this channel it follows this channel all the way right here and in this scenario the D naught will be equal to 0 as it is passing through the NOT gate so it will be the inverse of D so our master slave, slave D flip flop circuit is right this one and now let's move on to our last circuit of this lab which is SR lab circuit so in this circuit we are using two input two logic toggles which are named as set and reset and we are also giving the clock input so we are using a total of four gates two of them are NAND gates and two of them are AND gates and we have a two logic props which are being used as output so I will run the simulation and now if the value of set is equal to 0 but the value of reset is equal to 1 then Q is stable but Q naught or Q bar is blinking continuously blinking but if I change the value of set to 1 then both of these LEDs or both of these outputs are continuously changing or continuously blinking now let's say I change the value of reset to 0 then it will be the inverse of our first scenario in the, which case the Q bar was blinking and Q was stable now Q is blinking and Q bar is stable now if I change both of these to 0 then we have our stable input in this case our both Q and Q bar output are 1 and they are stable so that's it from this video and Till next time, Allah Hafiz.